What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So a few videos back you guys might have saw we picked up a new rare discontinued JDM part for the Honda S2000. So that's right we have more rare goodies for the S2000. If you guys don't know what we picked up we were able to source a rare discontinued ARC part. You guys know I'm sucker for ARC JDM goodies. So by discontinue what that means is even if you had the money you try to look for one you might not find one and what this is over here is an ARC battery cover piece um, this has long been discontinued on the S2000 platform from what I've heard um, some people are trying to source one since 2021 for the last three years and if you do find one in pretty mint condition they go for pretty expensive Lucky for me, I found one piece that is not quite min, but I think I was able to get a fairly good deal for it. So this goes on the engine bay. It's a metal piece and before I toss that on, I want to go ahead and get to polishing the metal down so we can get it nice and shiny. Okay, so it comes in two pieces. Let's go ahead and use our Allen key, remove the two pieces and then we can get to working on it. Okay, so after removing all five bolts, Two pieces are apart. So what I'll be using today is something you can buy off the store. Uh, Chemical Guys Heavy Metal Polish. I'm not sponsored or anything, but this is what I have. So this works on any chrome pieces, stainless steel, aluminium. So this should work just fine. You're gonna shake it nicely, put it on an applicator pad, and then get to buffing it down. If you do have like a uh, you know, machine to polish it even better, but I'm just gonna do it by hand. buffing it down use a clean microfiber towel just to give it a nice wipe well wipe off any uh, extra buffing compound so I just did a pretty quick pass in circular motions just like that I think I should do the job and I was a little bit lazy I only did the outside which is what really matters the inside I could probably do it as well if you have some extra time but pretty good nice and shiny okay so that's done now for this piece you can see this one definitely has a lot of hand prints it's a lot more dirty so yeah this is the main piece that will be most noticeable so let's try to get it as nice and shiny as we can shiny now and again if you guys want to get it done uh, much better you can do it professionally or some people even do you know uh, with a more harsher cutting compound in my case I just bought stuff from the store just take a quick little run just so it looks a little bit better and shinier okay so let's go ahead and pop the hood of the S2000 for you guys to see we already do have Quite a few ARC goodies underneath the hood of both the S2000 and my Mitsubishi Lancer show build. I am a sucker for rare discontinued car parts. So that piece is going to go right over there. And quick rundown on ARC parts we have on this S2000 build. We have an S2000 ARC radiator plate, ARC intake. Actually got that piece a few years before I bought my car. Uh, we do have an ARC spark plug cover, recently acquired. We do have ARC oil caps, but I'm not rocking it right now. And then on the interior, we do have an ARC shift plate right there. So where this piece is going to go is by the battery. I believe it's going to cover the fuse box, kind of go just 
right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and get this piece on the car. So like I said, it's gonna go right there. Let's go ahead and fit it on. Okay, so before you install that piece, you do have to remove this piece on the car, this black piece right over here, and there are two bolts holding it in. So one is down there where my finger is, and there's one more over here on the bottom, somewhere over there. All right, so it's a 10 mil bolt, there's two, one right here, one right there. So first one I'm gonna attempt to get is the easier one right here. Let's feed your extension, and it's not too much room to work with, but if you don't have harness bar, you don't have an intact box, it's a lot easier, so you might want to remove that. Alright, so first head nail bolt is coming off. There it is. Put that aside, so this side is loose, so just one other part right here, holding it back. Okay, and that is the second 10 mil bolt that you have to remove. Hidden right underneath there. So for reference, spot plug cover where my flashlight is, right there. Tight little spot. All right, so after fitting my big hands in the tight little spaces, I think I finally got both bolts out. So this piece should come right out. Just kidding, there's one more 10 mil bolt hidden right here. Kind of right where the oil filter is, there's one more right there. And there it is, right here. We'll loosen the 10 mil. All right, there it is. And it seems like there are more bolts attached. I think it's just one more. Should be the fourth and final one. It's pretty flimsy. Okay, so found the fourth bolt. It's a little further in, so right now we're just gonna go ahead and loosen it, get the fourth bolt out. All right, so after four 10 mil bolts, this piece is finally out. So just be careful when you remove it. It's a metal piece, you don't scratch anything. All right, so we finally got the other piece off. So this is the OEM piece. What this is, is pretty much a heat shield because the engines here, we have your, your headers here. Uh, and this heat shield kind of protects it from the battery in a few spots since there's a lot of heat around here So instead of this piece, we're replacing it with this piece. All right, so let's go ahead and throw on this piece So this piece is gonna go exactly where the other one was Okay, so I compared both pieces side by side pretty much the same layout except on this piece I did have to remove the other top piece uh, but there is a piece right here that goes right here. So we're gonna tighten that. And then I did notice the construction of it. It is sitting pretty close to the header. So you wanna make sure that there's two more bolts down here that you reattach. So out of the four bolts that you remove, I think you only have to reattach two of them. Sorry, three. There's a third one right here. Three of them and then this one as well. Okay, so now that I have that piece in, everything is nice and sturdy. There is some clearance. Uh, I did have some fingerprints, so I'll wipe it down later. And then, now, I can just get this handy dandy ARC piece and lay it right on top. So, now we're gonna go ahead and just pretty much uh, put all these Allen bolts in.
Bam, there we have it. We have the new ARC piece in the engine bay. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. Nice little cutout right here. And nice and firm, just replaces the OEM part. Definitely has some more engine length, doesn't have horsepower or anything like that. Uh, it does hide the fuse box right here. If you need to remove fuse box, you can still remove it. Um, just remove some of these screws here. Like I said, it's not in the perfect condition. Right here is a little burn mark, so that's a little unfortunate. But I did get it at a pretty good price considering how much ARC parts cost these days. So hope you guys are liking the progress on the S2000 build. Um, the plan for the S2000 is to pretty much collect JDM bling like this car. So go to shows, but at the same time if you want to have some fun on a track day or anything like that or a spirited drive, this car can also handle. So yeah, just loving the progress in the S2000 build so far. Hope you guys are as well. So hope you guys like it. It was a pretty simple DIY install. If you guys are new, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.